Let's talk about my bag. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's a beautiful day outside so I thought I'd film out here for a change. So a few weeks ago I shared my EDC which I've been carrying with me on a regular basis but before the year is over I'd also like to share what I carry in my backpack every time I have to report to the office. Let's get into it. Starting off with the backpack itself, I've been carrying the 30 liter everyday backpack version 1 from Peak Design. They're one of the most successful companies to come out of Kickstarter and for good reason. From the materials, to the craftsmanship, to the features they engineer into their products, all the way to warranty and after-sales support, this brand continues to raise the bar with each new release. By the way, Peak Design did not sponsor this, nor did any of the brands that may come up later in the video. When this bag came out, it completely changed my perception of what I should expect from a backpack. The everyday backpack was designed with photographers in mind, but you can definitely use it for work or travel. It's nicely padded all around and it holds its shape even when there's nothing in it, which is great for carrying tech gear of any sort. Cameras, drones, gimbals, microphones. So if you're a content creator, then this bag should be right up your alley. The fabric is waterproof and the zippers are also water resistant, so you don't need to worry about your electronics getting wet if you get caught out in the rain. It's also got padded handles on the top and on both sides, so it's easy to grab out of an overhead storage or under a plane seat. It also comes with external carry straps that you can use to latch on more things onto the outside of it. Like maybe a bike helmet or a tripod or a picnic blanket or that giant stuffed animal you want at the arcade. But where this bag really shines and the main selling point of this product for me is how you access the inside and the way you organize your stuff in it. It's got great side pockets that lay flat when not in use and can hold up to a 1 liter bottle. I have here my trusty camelback chute which is part of my EDC and I usually keep water in it for daily carry but when I'm heading to the office, it's reserved for coffee. Over on the other side, I have this huge hero clip which is basically a souped up carabiner. This product comes in a few different sizes but this is the biggest one they have. And the reason I have this is because if I have the option, I'd rather not set my bag down on the floor, especially these days when you want to minimize contact with the outside world. If you ever walk into a public toilet with your backpack and there's nowhere to hang your bag, you can just flip this thing open and hang it up on the door itself. Moving on to the laptop compartment which is back here and is separate from the rest of the bag, I have my Dell Work laptop. This is a 14 inch laptop about half an inch thick and it's already a tight fit so I don't think you'll be able to fit anything thicker than this but with a bigger screen around 15 inches should be just fine. There's a fabric divider here for a tablet but I only use it to carry documents to and from the office. There's also a stretchy compartment here that acts as your quick access pocket and I like to keep my badge and keys in there along with my mask and a bottle of hand sanitizer. The main compartment of this bag can be accessed three ways, from the top and from both sides. The top flap is secured with something Peak Design calls a maglatch system. It gives you four attachment points so you can adjust it up or down depending on how much stuff you have inside. I haven't used this bag for travel just yet but I imagine this feature is great for when you pick up those random souvenirs as you're exploring the city. From the top access, I take out my water bottle which is this insulated Yeti flask. I've been taking my own water to the office because some people use bottles that have very small openings and they have to jam it up against the water dispenser when they refill it which is just not very hygienic. Over on this side, I have my mechanical keyboard. Yes, I do take this keyboard with me to work and the reason for that is twofold. Number one, I like to have a bigger external monitor when working and I want it directly in front of me and I can't very well do that if my laptop screen is blocking the monitor. Reason number two is that I do a lot of typing at work. I write technical documents and long emails and it's just so much more satisfying to type on a mechanical keyboard. Also in this area of the bag, I have a laptop riser and a folding umbrella. The last thing I access from the main compartment is my tech pouch which is also from Peak Design. This accessory pouch has been lauded by many bag critics as the ultimate tech pouch. It's of the same material as the backpack, same waterproof shell and water resistant zipper with mini grab handles on each side. It opens up like an accordion, sits upright on the desk and gives more than enough organization for all the small tech bits I carry to work. 
In here, I have my mouse, the Logitech Anywhere 2S, along with the wrist rest that I use with it. I have a 65 watt charging brick that charges everything here, including the laptop, thanks to this USB C to Dell cord that I found on Lazada. So much smaller and lighter than the giant charging brick that comes with the laptop. I have a power bank and a bunch of dongles and adapters. And since the Wi Fi at the office isn't always great, I have this Ethernet cable adapter. I also take my Soundbeats T2 wireless buds for meetings and a long USB C charging cable. Everything in the main compartment of the bag are kept separate with these dividers. The everyday backpack comes with these removable velcro dividers that you can position in different configurations to fit your gear. Now the last thing I have in here is my lunch and to get to it, I have to open the bag from the side to access the bottom compartment. I like to keep my lunch separate from everything else just in case it spills during my commute. The updated version of this pack has been out in the market for a while, but the reason I still went for the V1 is that this particular color combination, blacked out on the outside, mustard yellow on the inside, sadly isn't available in version 2. My one gripe about this bag is that the straps could have been a little bit wider. I think the padding and the shape are just fine, but when you have it packed out, it kind of digs into your shoulders a little bit. Though I was able to fix the issue myself by adding these thick foam pads. So that's all of the stuff I've been carrying in this backpack whenever I need to go on site or if I have to work anywhere other than my home office. Honestly, I can't think of any other bag out in the market today that can handle this loadout as elegantly as this one. So I probably won't be changing anything much in this configuration as we move into some form of hybrid work setup for 2022. If you're interested in some of the items, I put links down in the description and some of these may be affiliate links that help support the channel at no additional cost to you. If you like this type of content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and tap on the bell icon so you'll be notified every time I put up a new video. Until next time, this has been Paulo for All Things Considered. Thanks for watching until the end, and I'll see you in the next one.